Is it possible to have a heart attack at 16? I ain't never heard of it, man. Why? I think I'm about to make medical history. Okay, you guys, take a breather. I'm oh, trying. Man. I'm trying. <coughs> I know you guys are tired. You'll have a lot of chance to rest on the plane. On the what? On the plane. You guys don't think I'd be working you harder than usual for nothing, do you? Hey, where are we going, coach? There's a tournament up in San Jose. Tournament director called me, told me that one of the teams had to drop out at the last minute, and could we fill in? We fill in, we'll fill it up, bro. Oh, yes, you well, said? yes, it is a tough tournament. But it'll be good experience for you, on top of which they're gonna pay for the tickets. Well, what about school? You're getting a day off. Oh, 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 Jackson. Jackson. Me? Start handing these out, will you? What are those, coach? Permission slips. Take them home, have your mother sign them, bring them back to me tomorrow. Hey, man, I don't need nobody's permission to do nothing. Anybody shows up without a signed permission slip, stays. Hey, Coach. Yeah, Goldstein. I can't get my mother to sign. Why not? I don't have a mother. Uh, have your father sign it. Uh, I don't have a father either, Coach. Well, Goldstein, what do you have? I got a grandmother, a couple aunts and uncles. Okay, have one of them sign it. Uh, just for my information, how many of you guys been on a plane before? Anybody here afraid to fly? <laughs> okay, plane leaves 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, so we meet in front of the building right here, 8 o'clock sharp. to park this thing and uh, try not to get in any trouble, all right? Hey, coach, you don't have to worry about us. Everything's gonna be all right. Hey, hey, Will, throw me that bag. Can you give me hey, some help with my hey, stuff? Hey, hey, Goldstein, what did you bring all this stuff for? I mean, we're only staying overnight. Yeah, well, it wasn't my idea. My grandmother packed for me. Goldstein, what do you got in here? Oh, I got some roast beef sandwiches, some blintzes, a jar of chicken noodle soup with some matzo balls. Yeah, well, it feels like cannonballs. Park in the same spot. Hey, Goldstein, oh, yeah. man, why didn't you leave the first try? Oh, man. Yeah, it's so what? I it's only going to be there overnight. overnight. All right, all right. Well, all you guys wait here while I go check in at Goldstein. Bring your luggage. Put it right in here. Hello. Hi. Is there any chance of seating us all together? Thirteen? Maybe difficult. It could be catastrophic for your airline if you don't. See, I'm a high school basketball coach. I'm taking my players to San Jose. I don't think any one of them has ever been on a plane before. Trust me, they're more than high-spirited. I don't think there's anything to worry about, sir. We have trained personnel that'll help make their flight as enjoyable as possible. It's not them I'm worried about. It's the other passengers. They uh, tend to get, how can I put it, uh, out of control. I think we can handle them. Where are they? They're over there. Where? Over there. Okay, 13. That's flight 165, departing at 912 from gate 6. Have a nice flight. Thank you. <laughs> this is some place, huh? Yeah, but you think the coach is going to be mad that we took off? Oh, what for? We're just doing a little sightseeing. Yes, yes, and ain't there some sights to see? Ain't that right, coach? Yeah. What's the matter with you, man? Nothing. I just ain't never flown on no plane before. 
Hey, my man, cool. Don't worry about a thing. Ain't nothing to it. You ever flown on a plane before? Uh, not exactly, but I have done some flying in my time, if you get my drift. <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen 12 kids around here? Nine black, two white, one Chicano? That ain't our plane. Yeah, I know, but it's one just like it. Yeah, it's another airline, though. Look at the size of that baby. Yeah, I wonder how much that thing weighs. I don't think it'll ever get off the ground. Hey, uh, cool. If you're a little bit nervous about this thing, man, you can sit next to me if you want to. What did that do for me? Well, um, remember that time when uh, that big ape-head Mac came up and threatened my life? And then you came along and stood beside him and started smiling? Yeah. Hey, man, when you came up beside him and started smiling, my knees stopped shaking. Just say, like, um, I'm returning the favor, bro. I appreciate that. Hey, think nothing of it, bro. Hey, you want to sit together? What? I don't know. I just thought if you start thinking, you're gonna start getting headaches. Hey, Salami, you want to sit together? Uh, I'm sitting with Reese. <laughs> go, go. You want to sit together? No way. What is this? A conspiracy? <sighs> that was a close one. Listen, we'll sit together, okay? Yeah. Right. Hey, we live in a democracy. That's why we're gonna choose straws to see who sits together and who gets stuck with the coach. These planes, they are so big, they got what you call, uh, um, promenade. what is that? Yeah, promenade, man. That means you can walk around, stroll around, stretch your legs as long as you want to, man. You know, that's good, because if there's one thing I can't stand, it's to be packed in something like a sardine. But then, a man, you can put your mind at rest. Then we better be getting back, man. Reed's be having a heart attack by now. What's that? Let's see, let's see. Instructions. Push button indicating desired value of policy. Indicate name of beneficiary. What is this? Wait a second. I think I got it. This is insurance in case the plane crashes and we get killed. They've also got insurance for, let's see, um, internal injuries, loss of an arm, loss of a leg, loss of an arm and a leg. Hey, Jackson. Uh you got something against being black? No, man, why? Because you're turning white. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, how much is it, man? One dollar. A dollar? Well, how can we beat that? Well, look, you think we ought to chip in and get some? <laughs> At these prices? Really? Here you go. Uh, what should we get? Uh, here they got a uh, uh, I think we ought to get right it here. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Let's do this thing logically. Now, what is the most that we can collect? $30,000. Well, let's for... take that. OK. What's this here, man? Wait a minute. Here it is. This is it. All right. Yeah, but whose name do we put on it? What about the coach? Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, put Reeves on that bad boy. Yeah. And who shall we put as the beneficiary? Hey, well, how about us? Airline flight 165, now boarding at gate 6. Hey, hey, that must be our flight. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Mr. Reeves, any problems? Well, uh, sort of. Our plane's supposed to take off in 10 minutes. I can't find my players. Could you page them for me? Well, certainly. What are their names? Well, look, maybe you should just page the Carver High School basketball team. Right. Why don't you watch where you're going? Stupid old man, you watch where you're going. You ought to get a pair of... Never mind. <laughs> um, I, uh, I think we'll be able to seat you all together. Could I have your boarding passes, please? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Where you guys been? Just walking around. Hey, we got a present for you. What is it? It's an insurance policy in case we crash. Yeah, we put it in your name. We figured if you died, you know, it wasn't for nothing. Because we come in to 30 big. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's just one hitch. What's that? If I die, you die. 
That's not right. funny. I mean, we don't get the money. What do you mean? I'm already... Come on, hurry up, you guys. Keep up. Let's go. Right up. Wow. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Put your bags down here so they can x-ray. So what are we going to do that for? That's the rules, Salami. Don't ask questions. Step over there. I feel like I just got busted. Oh, man, be cool. They just do this just to make sure nobody's carrying the heaters so the plane don't be hijacked. How can you hijack a plane with a heater? The heater's a gun, stupid. But I do remember reading one time where this guy, he smuggled a gun in a phony cast, hijacked the whole plane to Cuba, man. Yeah, to Cuba. <laughs> come on, come on, let's go, you guys. Jack's are going through. Oh, do you know the way the channel's in? Uh, one at a time, please. Step over here, please. They done got my boy Hayward. Uh, that won't be necessary. Is there a problem here? Turn around. Empty the back pocket. Put them over here, please. All right, go on through. I can walk, man. Come on, cool. Come on, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's take a head count. Everybody here? Yeah, man. We All right, let's go. Here. Give me my bag, Coolidge. Oh, right. Thanks. Well, can we still make the plane? Oh, I hope so. Come on. All right. All right. Come on. Come on, you guys. Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Let's move it. Coolidge, will you come on? Come on. Come on. Way in the rear on your right. Is it near the bathroom? Well, that's a few rows beyond. Right this way. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi. Right. Oh, oh, let's see. Okay, okay. that all the way under your way. seat. Promenades. Hey, man, it's a different model. What can I say? I ain't happy. Ah, uh, yes, that's Karen. Uh, oh. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is the bus to San Diego? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, well, listen, uh, why don't you stop by on your coffee break? If I'm not too busy. Seat to the right. Thank you. Man, this is gonna be a great flight. You wish. I know it, man. I know it. Good morning. Uh, your seat is all the way down on the right. Okay. <laughs> and you can sit anywhere you like. Hey. Are you guys on a basketball team? Of course, kid. Which one? The Lakers. I'm Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and that's Jamal Wilkes. Is that Jerry West? In the flesh. Hey, Jab, once we're in the air, you can sign all the autographs you want, but for now, will you just move it? Hi. Hi, Jerry. What's this for? Read what's on the bottom of the bag. You mean if we get sick, we gotta do it in this? You got it. What are you gonna give Coolidge? A shopping bag? Good morning, welcome aboard flight 165 to San Jose. We will be departing in just a few minutes. While aboard the aircraft, please observe the fastened seatbelt and no smoking signs. My name is Bonnie. Nancy and I will be serving you in first class. Shelly will be serving you in coach. We will be your attendants for this flight. Because well, we consider your you safety, got a name. Very... Now all you got to do is wait for her to announce like to a phone a number. <laughs> acquaint you with the safety features of this 727 aircraft. Man, I feel like I'm back in, in school. We have a laminated plastic card that points out the emergency exits as well as some of the emergency equipment. We do suggest you take a few moments to read the card. 
What are they going to do, give us a quiz? FAA regulations require that we demonstrate the use of the oxygen masks that are located directly above each seat. Should the cabin pressure change suddenly, the masks will automatically drop in front of you. Simply take the mask, pull down on it, place it over your nose and mouth, and continue to breathe normally. Do you have a question? Uh, yeah, you said that the uh, mask would fall when the pressure changed, but you didn't explain why the pressure was going to change. You dig where I'm coming from? <laughs> like, like, what I want to know is, is the thing safe or not? <laughs> the plane is very safe, but we do have our emergency procedures. Emergencies? That's all you've been talking about is emergencies. Seem to me like you ain't got all the bugs ironed out of this thing yet. <laughs> We'd now like to point out our emergency exits. The primary and the secondary located over the wings. I would also like to call your attention to the seat cushions, which can be used as flotation equipment. Hey, man, what was that noise? Oh, it's just the engine, man. Flight attendants, please be seated for takeoff. Stop screaming, I'm gonna send you to the moon myself. <laughs> Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte, amén. At least if I die, I ain't got far to go to get to heaven. You in heaven? <laughs> Fat chance. have a double martini. And I'll have a double scotch with a side order of ginger ale. Sorry, boys, no minors. There's no drinking age in international territory. We are in the United States, California to be exact. I beg to differ. There's a two mile limit. And once you pass that distance, you are in international water. We are not on the sea, we're in the air. 20,000 feet to be exact. And that's more than two miles. Uh, go a little easy on the vermouth, will you? I am sorry. <laughs> But the airspace over the U.S. is governed by U.S. federal law. Clarence Brown, date of birth, 9-4-35. Which makes you 44 years old. Well, I can't help it. I look young for my age. How about a couple of soft drinks? Man, you know how to bring them to their knees. I drew the short match. Well, some days nothing goes right. <laughs> listen, <clears throat> listen, what's your story? Nothing's black and white. There's no easy answer to a question like that. How long are you going to stick around? I haven't thought about it. You like coaching? I love it.
You, my man, is never gonna make it. What are you talking about? Oh, wait. <laughs> we will begin our descent into San Jose Airport. You might want to return to your seats as we will be turning on the seatbelt sign pretty quick. This was fun, man, but uh, I'm glad it's almost over. You ever been to San Jose Airport? Once. What for? We were coming in to play Golden State, and this was the only airport that wasn't fogged in. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros. Ahora en la hora. Man, will you cut that stuff out? There's nothing wrong with this plane. This stuff happens all the time. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a slight delay before we land at San Jose Airport. Please observe the fastened seatbelt and no smoking signs. Thank you. I wonder what the trouble is. Who knows? There ought to be a law. There is. It's called Murphy's Law. What's that? Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. <laughs> We've circled this place a hundred times. Now I know that's a lie. Why? Because you can't count that high. Say, so how you doing in school? I'm doing all right. Look, this is none of my business, but I'm curious. Miss Buchanan says you've got one of the highest IQs in the school. So how come you're not doing better? You're right. It ain't none of your business. What high school do you go to? Carver. Uh, we're coming up here for a basketball tournament. <laughs> you still don't trust me, do you? <laughs> I still don't even know what you're doing here. You can do better than this, I know. What makes you think this is so bad? Don't nobody want to be a Carver. What about Willis and Buchanan? Nobody's forcing them to stay at Carver. It's their job. So this is mine. Maybe so, but you used to be in the big money. You was a high roller, man. You don't need this job. Look, I did all right for a while, but nothing lasts forever. Besides, it's all in the past now. Anyway, I like coaching. Tell me something. Mm. If they came to you and they offered you a coaching job at UCLA or somewhere like that, would you take it? I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, but what if they did? I'd probably take it. Why'd you ask? I just want to see what you say. I figured if you said you stay at Carver, then you'd either be crazy or lying. Excuse me. Yeah. I was talking to one of your players back there, and they told me who you were, and uh, I wonder if I could have your autograph. No, I can't do that. I'd be embarrassed. Uh, I don't play pro ball anymore. Uh, I really appreciate it if you would. It, it's really not for me. It's for my kid. Well, what's your kid's name? Chris. I really appreciate this. I don't follow basketball myself, but I know you. Thank you. That's very nice. I'm a little confused. This is Kenny Reeves. Yeah, that's me. He told me you were Bob Cousy. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we just want to apologize for the inconvenience caused by this delay. I'm sure you're all a little curious as to what is taking place, so I'll try to explain it to you without getting too technical. 
We're experiencing a problem with the aircraft's hydraulic system, which controls the raising and lowering of the landing gear. There's no need for concern, but as an extra measure of precaution, we've decided to return to Los Angeles. Our estimated time of arrival at LAX is now 12.32. Again, there's nothing to be concerned about, and we're sorry for the inconvenience. The captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt signs again, so anyone who has to use the lavatories may do so at this time. Excuse me. Oh, may I help you, sir? Yeah, you seem a little jumpy. Oh, well, you took me by surprise. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to find out exactly what's you going on. You know everything that we know. Now, would you please no, take your seat? No, what I know is you're two minutes out of San Jose Airport. You're turning around going back to L.A. Now, if there's any danger here, I'd like to know about it. I'm responsible for 12 kids who've never been on a plane before. The captain will make an announcement in just a few minutes. Now, if you please just Ladies take your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We're still experiencing a malfunction in our hydraulic system. What we do in this situation is lower the landing gear manually and then check visually that it's in place, an operation your co-pilot will be undertaking in just a few minutes. For your safety, I've asked our flight attendants to instruct you in emergency landing procedures. I'd like to emphasize that this is purely precautionary and in accordance with FAA regulations. There is no danger and no need to worry. Thank you for your cooperation. Now, would you please take yeah. your seat? Hey, coach, look what you got us into. We could all be maimed for life. No, well, look at it this way. If you weren't here, you'd be back in school. Man's got a point. Fellas, can I speak to you for a minute? Listen, guys, I want to talk to you just for just hey, hey, a minute. Hey, hey, come on, you guys. Hey, can't you see the ladies trying to speak? Now hold it down, all right? Thank you very much. I need a volunteer for a very important mission. You got it right here, Mama. More stop at your service, ma'am. You're hired. Now hold on to this and wait one minute, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the first thing I want you to do is remove your shoes and hold them in your lap. Wait for this gentleman to pass. Hey, that ain't no gentleman. That's Thorpe. <laughs> hey, Thorpe. That's an important mission. They're making you take out the trash. <laughs> when this gentleman passes by, place your shoes in the bag. You'll get them back after we've landed safely. Thank you very much. What do they want with my shoes? They figured the stink from your socks would rise to the roof and keep this plane up. <laughs> okay, now start over on this side. Now, everyone, put your shoes in your lap and do what she tells you. Hey, Thorpe, what's this all about? We require all passengers to remove their shoes to prevent tearing of the emergency slide. We. Oui. Shelly? Uh, can I help you? Yeah. I was just wondering, do you need any more volunteers? You'd really like to help? Yeah. I figure if Thurk can do it, any idiot could. <sighs> okay, come on. Wait right here. Hold these. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your cooperation with your shoes. At this time, I'd like you to remove all sharp objects from your pockets and all jewelry that you're wearing. This gentleman will give you one of these. Please put all your jewelry, pens, pencils, etc., in the small brown bag. Mark your name on it and deposit it in this large bag. When the gentleman... What's your name? Gomez. Ricky. When Mr. Ricky returns. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Mr. Ricky! <laughs> all right, now you start with this out, this one, this one, know, this one. I know, I know, I know, I know. All right. 
Can you imagine trusting Gomez with a bag full of jewelry? Yeah, it's like putting a fat lady in charge of a box of chocolate. Thank you, Mr. How about donating your services? Let's go. Excuse me, ma'am. You'll have to trade seats with these gentlemen for the rest of the flight. We need two very strong men sitting by the emergency exit. Seats 11D and E. See you, Kareem. If an emergency evacuation should become necessary, you two will be the first out of the plane. Now, what we want you to do is stay on the wing and assist the people as they come out the exit. You got it? flags line up perfectly. If they're not lined up perfectly or there's a red flag. I got you. Asking me if I'm all right. I'm scared. I know. What do you mean you know? I can see it. Well, how come you ain't scared? Because I don't hold it in like you do. I don't go around putting on no act like I'm Mr. Cool all the time. You're always walking around like you some bad dude instead of just being yourself. Oh, man, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah? Remember the time you punched out Crazy Willie and his brother came looking for you with a gun? Hell yeah. And you didn't show up to school for a week because you said you were sick? Man, everybody knew you weren't sick. I was too sick. Yeah, well, you got better pretty quick when hair would smooth things over. Look, man, what I'm trying to tell you is, one, it's okay to get scared because everybody gets scared. And two, you ain't fooling nobody but yourself. How come you ain't scared of dying? I don't think about it. Well, I do. I think about it all the time. When I was a kid, I used to lie in bed and try to imagine what it was like to die. I closed my eyes real tight just feel myself slipping away. And then sometimes I would imagine that I'm really dead. And I picture all the guys in the gym. And you who I thought come in and tell everybody I'm dead. And I imagine what everybody is saying. Coach is holding back tears. And the whole school shows up for my funeral. And Miss Buchanan is crying, saying how she was always in love with me and never told me. Everybody is saying they're gonna miss Curtis Jackson. And I think about all of that. It makes me feel. 
feel good. So every time I feel bad, I just picture that scene where I'm dead, and it makes me feel good. Man, you got some imagination. You ought to be a writer. Yeah. Hey, Reese. What? Uh, I thought we were supposed to land in Los Angeles. We are. Well, if we are, the pilot must have fallen asleep because we're heading out to sea. Salami, you're right for a change. I wonder what gives. I don't know. Maybe we're flying to Honolulu instead. Hey, Stewardess, why are we heading out to sea? The pilot's dumping our fuel. Dumping the fuel? What are we going to ride on, beef bullion? Relax. It's just a safety measure. We'll have plenty of fuel to land. Oh, them and their safety measures are killing me. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The captain has just informed me that we will be making a precautionary landing in Los Angeles in approximately 15 minutes. An emergency evacuation may be required. Your crew is trained to handle this situation, so please remain calm and give us your full attention. At this time, I would like to instruct you in the correct brace position the captain will ask you to assume for landing. The flight attendants will give each of you a pillow. Excuse me, could you stand up? Thank you. Take the pillow, place it, place it right here in your lap. Tighten your seatbelt as tight as it will go. Feet apart, flat on the floor, clasp your hands, Place them behind your head. Bend over, placing your head in the pillow. Hold this position until the plane comes to a complete stop. Does everybody understand? I don't think I know how to do this. Sure you do. It's real easy. You don't know Salami. He's pretty dumb. I am not. Here, let me show you. Clasp your hands behind your head. You know, he's right. I'm stupid. Uh, I bet you're not. Now, bend over. That's it. You know, I don't pay attention in school either. I think it's a habit or something. You're doing fine. That's exactly right. I'm not so dumb. I don't think I know how to do it either. Like this? That's it. Thank you very much. It's OK. Did you see that man? Hey, Gomez, listen, why don't you cut that stuff out? Man, it's not going to help us now anyway. Don't you believe in God? Listen, when I was little, I used to believe in God and Santa Claus. Now I only believe in Santa. Man, if you don't believe in God, how do you expect him to help you? You mean to tell me you believe in all that Bible stuff? Moses parting the Red Sea, the masses being fed by just one fish, and uh, Adam and Eve? How do you know it ain't true? Listen. The Bible said God created the heavens and the earth. I know. If he did that, you don't think he could stop a plane from crashing? Haven't you ever heard of the Big Bang Theory? What's that? That's how scientists believe the universe got started. You see, a long, long time ago, there was this big explosion, right? And out of this explosion, the planets were formed. Well, what caused the explosion? They don't know yet. Maybe it was God. Hey, cool. If you had a choice of dying, what would it be? What kind of question is that? No, seriously, man. You know, I hear drowning is one of the best ways, because it makes you feel like you're stone. Man, I heard if you jump off a building like the Empire State Building, you'd be unconscious before you ever hit the ground. <laughs> I know one way I wouldn't want to go. What's that? Electric chair. Yeah, that thing gives me the creeps. <laughs> hey, I just thought of another good one. Poison. Now, seriously, man, I hear they got some stuff that'll put you away without you feeling a thing. You mean like they do with horses? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, but as far as I'm concerned, there's only one way I want to go. Yeah, what's that? Of old age.
sent into LAX, which should be in approximately three minutes. Everything on board the aircraft and on the ground is go. And I'd like to thank all of you for your cooperation. I'd like to emphasize that we're anticipating no problems, but I'd like to stress the importance for your safety and that of your fellow passengers of following all emergency landing procedures and any directions given to you by our flight attendants. We are now making our approach into LAX. The next time you hear my voice will be 30 seconds before landing. At that time, I'd like you to assume the brace position and hold it until the plane comes to a complete stop. Again, thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> You don't even gotta worry. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. There's the runway. Finally. I just want to get this thing over with. I hope to stop this plane's coming to ain't too sudden. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Ladies and gentlemen, please take the brace position. Do I face left or right? It ain't gonna make no difference. Thank you for flying with us. Sorry for the inconvenience. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Later. Bye. Much. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, thanks for your help. Yeah, you know I've been thinking. And after all we've been through, we ought to get together. You know, soft lights, low music, little wine, talk over the old times. So why don't you uh, give me your number and I'll stop by? I think that would be very nice. My husband would love to meet you. Goodbye. Bye. Would you thank the captain for all of us? I sure will. Goodbye. 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 We all got to wait around here just because Goldstein brought a suitcase full of matzo balls. What's the problem, man? Can I go to I will say one thing, though. I'd rather be standing here than up there in that airplane. Man, that was close. 
Hey, do you think we can miss a couple of days of school because of this? Yeah, we could say we were still in the state of shock. Hey, I think the only thing we're gonna end up missing is that tournament game. Man, we would have blown them dudes away. Yeah, by the second quarter. Yeah, and instead, we get a forfeit. Forfeit? Who said anything about a forfeit? The game doesn't start till 7 o'clock. There's another plane leaving in 20 minutes. So what? <laughs> <laughs>